Today, we are going to focus on mountains. For your reference, you may open your module on page 42, 44. Okay. For our lesson for today, we have the following objectives. Number one, explain the formation of mountains and describe the different types of mountains. So we start with the definition of mountains. Mountains are landforms that rise high above the surrounding terrain in a limited area. These are generally higher than 600 meters, although there are uh, some uh, sources na nagsasabi na these are uh, 300 meters. Okay? But one of the sources uh, sinasabi doon na there is no universal definition for mountains. Ayan. But for our discussion for today, we define mountains are uh, high elevate, highly elevated uh, formations or land masses that are higher than 600 meters. And we classify those that are less than 600 meters uh, to be uh, hills. Ayan. So we have the parts of the mountains. Number one is the summit or the top. The top of the mountain. The slope. Ayan. And the foot of the mountain. Of course, the gorge. Uh, the gorge is the part where uh, this gorge or this part is located in between young mountains. Ayan, yung mga spaces in between. So usually, uh, as we can see from our picture here, makikita natin dito yung mga uh, bodies of water, water like uh, the rivers, small bodies of water, rivers, Ayan, so from our diagram here. Okay, so we go back to our question a while back. How are mountains formed? There are two continental crusts uh, colliding uh, with each other. And as a result, since there is no subduction there, meron tayong elevation on top. Unti-unti uh, tataas yung portion na yan, then meron tayong formation ng mountain ranges. When you say mountain ranges, these are series of mountains connected to each other. Kasi nga, bakit sila connected? Uh, they are found along the plate boundary. Okay, so hindi lang iisang mountain ang mabubuo. Bagkus, meron tayong series of mountains which we call mountain ranges. Okay, so the process of mountain formation due to the folding or the meeting of two plates, specifically the continental to continental plates or what we call the, uh, is what we call the orogenesis. For other uh, terminologies, they use orogeny. Okay, so we have different um, mountain ranges located all over the world. In North America, we have the Brooks Range, the Rockies, the Appalachians, in South America, we have the Andes. And for the other parts, we have the Himalaya, Great Dividing Range, and the uh, Urals. Ayan, at madami pang iba. So, yan yung mga major mountain ranges na pwede nating ma-observe or makita uh, in different parts of the world. So, observe the dis distribution of the mountain ranges. Anong mapapansin mo sa distribution? Are they concentrated in one location? Sir, the mountain ranges are all scattered. The mountain ranges are scattered. They are not located in only one uh, location or in only one continent. Very good. Uh, one example, as I have mentioned a while back, is the Alaska's Brooks Range. So, we have here a series of mountain ranges. This is, since Alaska is located near the North Pole, ayan, so syempre, meron siyang mga ice. Okay, so very low temperature. Another one is the Andes in Chile, Argentina. And of course, the Appalachian Mountains. Now, we have types of mountains. Uh, they are categorized according to how they are formed and of course, how they look like. The first type is default mountains. Second one is fault block mountains. Third one is dome mountains. Fourth is volcanic mountains. And the fifth one is plateau or the erosion mountains. So, i-discuss natin isa-isa. Ano ba ang fault mountains? 
Fold mountains are created where two or more of Earth's tectonic plates are pushed together, often at convergent plate boundaries and continental collision zones. So most mountains all over the world are actually considered or categorized under fold mountains. Example, yung Himalayas Mountain or the mountain range, yung buong mountain range na yon. Okay, so what happens there is that there are two plates colliding uh, with each other and as a result, we have the crumpling or deformation on top of the the plate boundary. So, mafofold yung mga land masses dyan. So, sediments and some magma is forced upwards. So, meron din tayong mga magma na natatrap dyan uh, due to the uh, folding of the crust. Okay. And we have another part, the deep mountain roots. Okay, so that's the the process of the formation of fold mountains. From the term alone, fold, that's the folding, folding of the crust due to the collision of two continental plates. Okay, example of that is the Alps. Yeah, and from our diagram here, we can see that uh, the folding process is very obvious here. So, we can see the layers na fold sila. Of course, we have a disconnection here because of the erosion, yan weathering. So, maaari yung ibang mga parts niya ay nag-erode over time. Uh, inuulit ko, this process uh, takes a lot of years to happen. How they look like is affected by uh, weathering or erosion. Another type is fault block mountains. How are they formed? So they are created when large areas are broken and displaced vertically. Often have a steep front side and sloping back side. Okay, so we have here a diagram explaining how fault block mountains are formed. So this usually happens when uh, uh, two plates move away from each other as a result, the uh, the part here, the middle part here, rises. So when it rises, meron tayong fault block mountains na maproproduce daan. As a result, of course, the plates, uh, the crust here will be forced to move sidewards. Ayan. Example natin, we have the Sierra Nevada. Okay, so makikita natin, very steep slope. Neto. On the other side of the mountain, uh, normal lang siya. Pero dito, ito yung distinct na karakteristik niya, uh, which separates it from the other mountains. Another one is the Rhine Valley in Germany. Another type of mountain is dome mountains. So from the term alone, dome, and it is a result of a great amount of magma pushing its way up under the Earth's crust but because it does not erupt hindi siya lalabas ang mangyari ay uh, magbubuo ng dome mountain instead so erosion by wind and rain contribute to its shape so ito so when magma pushes the crust here upwards hindi siya mag -e erupt kasi hindi enough yung force the result will be the formation of bulge here uh, due to the pressure so, meron tayong dome mountain na mabubuo. An example of that is Navajo Mountains in Utah. Ayan. So, ganito yung itsura niya. So, underneath the, the dome mountain here, we have the magma. Another type is volcanic mountains. These are formed by volcanoes. Most Philippine mountains are volcanic mountains. So, anong nangyari dyan? Kapag kalalabas, of course, mag erupt And after a certain period of time, magkoklose na naman yung central vent. And then, as a result, we have the solidification or they turn into rocks, solid rocks. The layers here represent the different layers formed over time. So, when a volcano erupts, so dito yung first eruption niya, magkakaroon ng uh, flowing of lava, Mag-solidify, magkaklose naman yung vent, 
Then after thousands, hundreds of years, ayan, maliit muna. Habang mas madaming eruption, mas madadagdagan yung layers. And we have the growth of the uh, volcanic mountains. Okay, so this is a special type of mountain. These are formed from volcanoes. Example of that is Mount Apo. Kilala, very popular yan sa atin. And Mount Pulag. And the last is the Plateau Mountains. These are also called the Erosion Mountains. Okay, is characterized by a flat, elevated landform that rises sharply above surrounding area on at least one side. We, we have three. Three modes of formation. The number one, the first one uh, is thermal expansion and uplift. So dito sa baba, makikita natin yung mantle plume. Of course, it forces the, the crust to move, to behave that way. So meron tayong formation ng plateau. Yung second, yung crustal shortening. So meron tayong plate 1 and 2. Okay, so meron tayong movement. The other subducts over the other. And as a result, we have the formation of plateau. And the third one is lava flow generation. So makikita natin dito, meron ulit tayong mantle plume. So dito sa last diagram natin, meron tayong plateau formation because of the uh, coming out of the magma here. So usually this happens along uh, kung matatanda ninyo yung hot spots when you were in grade 9. Ano yung hot spot? Anyone? Sir, hot spot is an area on earth over a mantle plume or an area under the rocky outer layer of earth. Oo, oh, oh, ba Doon lumalabas yung magma. So, pag lumabas yung magma, mag-solidify, mag-move yung crust, makikerry yung mga nabuo or na-solidify na rocks on top of it. So, habang nag-move siya, mas nadadagdagan, nadadagdagan yung ating uh, mountain doon sa taas ng crust natin. So, one of the result of that process is the formation of plateau. Ayan. So, example of the, of the plateau mountains or erosion mountains is Colorado Plateau. Ito. Makikita natin that over time, uh, nag erode yung uh, parts ng ating landform dito. Another one is the Kukenan Tepui in Venezuela. Ayan. So, today, we discussed already the, the mountains the processes on how mountains are formed. So, mountains are formed when two continental plates uh, collide. Ayan. And we discuss also the types of mountains.